hello, I see you've made your way uh, to this site. So I wonder if you are doing research on uh, getting a ventilator and um, come across my site as the non-invasive assisted breathing ventilator. It is a normal style ventilator and normally it comes around with a hose that connects into a trach that is a tracheostomy in your neck but uh, this is the hose comes around and it's connected to a, a mouthpiece that you can use to uh, intermittently take breaths if you want to which uh, I'm a little bit short of breath so I'll show you you know how I do that right now You could take two or three really good breaths and it really does help to um, fill up your lungs and give your lungs that break that you're needing every now and then. Um, anyway, if you are looking to make a choice for getting on a ventilator, it is a really difficult choice. I know that this is something I struggled with for quite a while. And um, it's just nice to know that there's another option out there besides the invasive ventilation uh, I, that was really not an option for me so I just tried to uh, look at all the research I could find read everything that I could find and there's not really a lot of information out there about the non assisted ventilation which I do not understand at all because to me I think that that should be a uh, first choice uh, for someone that's needing ventilation you know if that's an option for them to be able to use it is um, entirely better than being put on, on with a trach. Which, you know, some people, that is the only choice they have. But I know that with muscular dystrophy, like I have, and other neuromuscular diseases, this is really a good way to go. I do work, and um, with my work, I do a lot of talking, so... This has really helped with my energy levels, and I'm a very active person is uh, going around doing social things. So I, I didn't really like for the past year that I had to be home around my BiPAP a couple hours during the day. It just really wasn't uh, good for my you know, type of lifestyle, and this has really changed, changed that. And I'm really happy and pleased with um, the outcome of that. I really hope that you may uh, look at all of your resources before making the decision and if you have a doctor that is a good doctor they will be willing to um, you know do the research with you and see what the best choice for you is. Um, I, I have a great doctor and she was really working uh, to be on the same page with me and open to any and everything that I had come up with. I was actually her first sip and puff patient, so uh, it was kind of a learning curve for both of us, but it has worked out really well. There's not really that much uh, you do to prepare for it. It's uh, not that big a deal to set up, and um, you just kind of wing it as far as when you need a breath, you take one, and Sometimes you take more than others, especially when I talk, but it's just uh, for your own comfort level. Again, um, I just really hope that uh, you will look and see what kind of information is out there. Uh, I would love to hear from anybody that might would have uh, questions concerning uh, the non-invasive uh, ventilation uh, I would be more than willing to answer any kind of questions I will um, put a link to my email at the bottom and if you wanted to give me a, a message I'd be more than glad to talk about it and until then I'll uh, look to put more logs on here thanks